Hi everybody, my name is Amanda Boyles. I'm the Angler Education Coordinator with Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. And we are here today to teach you how to fillet flatfish. To start out with, whenever, especially with halibut, they have a really thick slime coat and it doesn't necessarily smell the best when it dries on you. So the most important thing, spray off anything that you're going to be using. Um, spray off your table, spray off your tailgate. Nice sharp knife, some people for prefer shorter ones for halibut. I like long bendy knives. And then for safety first, a fillet glove. So what I first do is I usually start out right on the top of the head here. And you can, you can kind of feel with your finger where that, um, where that bony plate is. And you can feel with your finger where the ribs are too. If you get some ribs, that's okay. Um, but so when I'm filleting, I'm always going to one, point the knife away from me and two, um, make sure that my knife is pointed in the way that I'm going to cut. So I'm going to angle my knife downwards along that lateral line as I go. So start at the top of the head here. And then you don't really want to have to push a whole lot. You want the knife to do the work. If your knife isn't sharp enough, just stop and go sharpen it. There's nothing worse than trying to fillet with a dull knife. And you can feel there's a a plate of bones on either side that divides either half and you want to stop at that plate you don't want to go all the way through so and then when you get here past this dorsal or uh, pectoral fin you can press with your knife and you can follow that lateral line all the way down here right along there and you can look and you make sure you get all the way all the way through or half excuse me so what I do now is I make a cut here along the um, <coughs> or right in front of the tail fin and I slice up to just to break the skin you don't have to do this part you can do it later personal preference trying to think. so just what I did on that other side slice through that skin here The belly is here. Some people keep the belly meat. I kept it a couple times because I was skeptical. With halibut, that tends to be very wormy. So what I can do is I will I won't keep the belly meat, but I'll show you what you're um, what you're discarding. It does seem like a waste. Um, if you want to keep it, go ahead. There's a lot of worms, so you can feel with your finger where that belly starts. And I cut right there because this is the fillet that I'm taking. When you're filleting these guys, you put your knife in, in the middle and what you're going to do is you're gonna make the blade slice along those, those rigid bones in the middle. And keeping your knife away, not pointed towards you, just let that knife bend and cut along those bones. And when you get towards the end, you can flip it up. I'll just show you what I'm doing here. Flip up. You're going to bend that knife along those bones there. And since I already made that cut, it's just falling, cut through the skin, it's just falling right off. And there you go, that's one to go, or one down, three to go. All right, <clears throat> same way here, bend that knife. All right, now other side. I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the other side. So if you didn't do good on the first one, now's your chance to practice the second time around. Start with that head, feel, feel that bony plate with your finger, cut down, and then follow that lateral line with your knife. Same here, so you can feel where that, that belly stops. This guy's still a little frozen. 
We want to thank MRP for donating this fish for us. Thank you. All right. So again, I'm going to just start peeling. Better angle so you can see here. Cut a little too far, that's okay. One to go. It's a little hard to cut when they're when they're frozen. All right, that's all four. This guy's pretty small for this, but we're, I'm going to show you anyway. Halibut cheeks are like I don't know trying to think of something really really delicious like better than juicy cheeseburger um, they're like little scallops and so to get these guys out um, you're gonna feel along that bony plate um, and you can actually feel where it gets tender all the way from the mouth and uh, and up around here so and you're, you're just gonna cut them out like a little coin so you take your knife and you don't have to use a big fillet knife you can use a pocket knife or something you're going to just go around, again, careful not to cut towards yourself because you're going to go in a circle. And then after you got it pretty much all the way around, just fillet that off just like that. And you can clean that, that that spot out there or you can it actually will peel off pretty well after you cooked it so personal preference same exact thing on the other side these cheeks are great you can see how they even look like little scallops it's a lot easier to do on a bigger one but we work with what we got and right up to that eye peel that And that's a bony plate there. I'm not wasting anything. Alrighty. Now you got to skin these. So, and this is actually the same as skinning pretty much everything else. You put, a, put your uh, piece of meat as close to the edge of the table as you can get. Use your finger. And then with the 45 degree angle, 45, you just kind of pull the skin and push. You don't want to do a bunch of sawing motions because that um, isn't helpful. You need a long knife for this, especially if you get a big halibut. Just push and pull, that easy. You can peel these guys off and then depending on what kind of size you want for the freezer or if you're like me and eat it in all one sitting, you can do that too. All right. And <clears throat> I usually like to trim my stuff later, but you can do that when you're at the table too. This, this um, reddish meat, it, it tastes more fishy. So you can definitely get rid of that. <clears throat> 